Hey everybody, uh, just a little bit of a warning here before we get started. There is going to be a little bit of flashing lights here, so if you're a little bit sensitive to that kind of stuff, you know, I just want to let you know right now that that's going to happen. So, anyway, uh, a while ago in a previous video, I was uh, working on trying to improve my lighting situation here a little bit, making things uh, a little bit um, nicer and, you know, not have any hum or anything like that from the fluorescent lamps that I was using. I mentioned that I had a couple of these 100-watt, uh, LED modules that I got forever ago and they were fairly inexpensive and I do like the light output that these provide it's actually I think it's actually uh, pretty nice and it'd be pretty cool to use for lighting up here stuff on the bench and I wanted to use them for like a couple soft boxes uh, the one thing I wasn't sure about is how I was going to drive them I was originally thinking about making like my own either a buck or a boost converter depending on what sort of power supply I was going to use and you know and making it so it was like current limited because these are supposed to use about like 34 35 volts or something like that i don't remember the exact specs at about like three amps so you know that, that gives you like right about 100 watts so i had these a couple of these power supplies laying around that i also got a long time ago these are 24 volt 6.5 amp power supplies uh, made by a cosell and I, I got these from a bg micro and they were actually fairly inexpensive but they're actually really nicely built power supplies so I thought I could put these to use as well well the thing is that these, these being 24 volt power supplies even at 6.5 amps it's only barely able to make these uh, LEDs light up because the LEDs are not drawing like a ton of current at that voltage so I thought okay well I'm going to need to use a boost converter for you know going from 24 to the 34 whatever I need for that so while I was on eBay one day just browsing around for some other stuff, I don't even remember what I was doing, I came across these little 100 watt boost converters. And I mean, these were ridiculously cheap. And I thought, okay, well, I could use one of these, have the 24 volts come in, and then I'll set it to 30, you know, 34, 35, whatever it is that these LEDs are supposed to use. And then I'll just need to use some sort of a other control circuit to be able to adjust the lights because I wanted to make them adjustable. I didn't want them to just, you know, be continuously or just like, you know, full brightness continuously the whole time. I wanted to be able to, you know, turn it up, turn it down, whatever I need. Well, it turns out that these by themselves actually pretty much do everything that I want as is. Um, there's a little bit of an issue, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, but I think it might be easy to, you know, overcome. The only other thing that I have to figure out is like a cooling situation for these for the LEDs because they do these I mean they get they get pretty hot. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I could use these um heat sinks that were from some old uh, Pentium 4 PCs. Um like I have a bunch of these laying around. They have a little fan built in and you know, they're it's like solid copper. So they they cool fairly well. The only problem is that the fan it tends to be a little loud. So I'm not sure. You know, I'd have to have some sort of controller for the fan too. So I'm not sure if I want to go this route, but for now, right now, just for sake of demonstrations right here, I'm going to just keep it on this heat sink. I also thought about, because I have a, like, a, I've shown it before, like I had a box just like full of heat sinks from a bunch of stuff that I've taken apart before. But I might be able to find something there, you know, with like bigger fins, something that's going to be able to dissipate heat a little more passively instead of having to use like some act active cooling with like a fan or anything. So another thing here is that the this uh, little boost converter has a potentiometer up here so we're going to be playing with that um you know we can see that there's a there's a coil here so basically it's uh yeah it's just uh, using that to, to boost uh, one of these is a diode i think this is the diode and then the other one's like a mosfet so a couple caps and then the controller right here so fairly simple little device but like i said these were ridiculously cheap i got two of them for like I don't know about like five bucks or something like that <laughs> so i thought like you know no brainer i'm gonna be sitting there like spending time trying to roll my own thing for that and this thing's only like five bucks and as i mentioned like originally i was just planning on using it to boost the voltage not even to control it but it pretty much does both at, um, by itself so anyways uh, let me show you guys here what uh, this does and as i mentioned you know there's going to be a little bit of flashing here so just be warned um i've got the power supply connected directly to this power supply so well power supply to boost converter boost converter i have going to the leds but i also have it going to my meter here because i'm going to show you you know about how much current this thing draws 
let's go ahead and plug in the power supply here. We are going to see this come up, but as I mentioned, it's only going to be driven by about 24 volts because I have the regulation on this thing set all the way down. So it's basically kind of acting just like a, like a pass through at the moment. So plug in the power supply and the LEDs come on. And one thing I like about these uh, LED modules is that they're actually, I've seen some other ones on like other YouTubers that have shown some other cheaper ones that have like kind of inconsistent like LEDs, like some of them will be like super dim and then some other ones are like really bright. But this one seems to be pretty consistently even all around. It's kind of hard to see on the camera here and I can't really adjust it too well, but it looks fairly okay. So, oops, and this is falling off. <laughs> we don't want to overheat. So I'm just gonna set it back down like this. And at the moment, as I mentioned, we're only getting about 24 volts and we're only pulling about 1.5 milliamps right there, or at least that's what this says, like 1.5, 1.6, it's kind of jumping there. So really tiny amount of current, but it's already lit up. So just to show you guys how bright this thing gets, let me set the exposure to fixed. So now, it doesn't matter how much you turn it up, the camera's not gonna dim out. So uh, let's, I don't know the best way to do this here, but um, maybe I should turn it around a little bit. So uh, it's just going to fall off. No, it's not going to work. All right, I'll just leave it there. I'll kind of set it off to the side there so it doesn't get all crazy. But anyways, so one of the first issues here is that when I start turning up the pot, right now it's like all the way counterclockwise, but as I start turning it clockwise, Nothing really starts happening for a while. Like I have to turn it several times before anything starts to happen. And actually I should probably get the, the meter and shot there so you guys can see. And if you're wondering what this thing in the back here is, it's, it's from a TV and it's a totally different story. I might do some about that in, in like the future, but let me turn this up all the way there so you can see it. All right, I'm gonna start turning up the pot here. I could get it in the slot. Okay, so still turning clockwise, still turning clockwise, and we're still sitting at about the same current draw there. It takes a while before it finally starts getting brighter or boosting voltage. So I'm still going, still going, still going. Should have kept track of how many turns I've been doing already, but geez. Yep, still going. There we go. Okay. And as you might be able to see, or maybe not, it's kind of hard to tell, but the light is strobing a bit. And you might be able to see it. You can see it right there on my hand in the video. I'm kind of looking at the viewfinder here. So it's strobing a little bit. And I found that if I were to load the output on the converter here with a resistor, it kind of stabilizes the output a bit. And it actually, the light up was a little bit more even, even at this low of a voltage. And as you can see now, the current draw has increased to about 2.6 milliamps. Um, I don't have another meter I can hook up at the moment here to show the voltage output, but you can see that the LED is slowly getting brighter. It's still kind of strobing a bit, but it gets a little bit faster as we go. Finally, it eventually kind of gets to a point where it's not strobing as much anymore. Like right here, it's still strobing a little bit, but about here, it's not strobing as much anymore. Some of it kind of seems to be like the pot's a little bit kind of touchy. So, but it now it's pretty much even. Like right now, it's not even strobing at all. And we're pulling about just 40 milliamps there, but it's already really bright. Although I think that if I were to put this in a in a box, like as I mentioned, you know, with like a some sort of a filter in the front, I think maybe like this would be about like the minimum I would want to have it anyways, because it's bright, but it's not like super bright yet. And once it's behind the like the the the, the cloth material, or whatever, it's you know it's not going to be as bright um, on the other side of that. So I think this would be okay. I would just have to have some way to, or I'd have to put like, you know, a separate pot on the outside of whatever it is I, I built for this. 
who maybe have like a fixed resistor to keep this like at this minimum, you know, all the time, and then I can turn it up from there. So right now about 40 milliamps and it's already starting to get fairly bright here, but if we keep going, now we're at 50, 60, 70, 80. So it's, it's getting like quite a bit bright now and I'm pretty sure it's already kind of, it, I mean the light output's pretty warm and I can barely see what I'm doing now because I should not be looking at that thing. But so right there about 150 milliamps and it's already fairly bright. And as I said, I wish I could tell you what kind of voltages we're, we're getting at the output there, but it only goes up to about like 36 at the max on this power supply. So let's go up to one amp and uh, I can barely see the meter myself there, but it's getting really bright right there, right about 700 milliamps, uh, 900, that's one amp right there. And it's super bright. So you can see that it's just crazy. So, and then having two of these, you know, it's going to be, it should be pretty much bright for like anything I want to do. So let's go up to three amps. And I can't even see the meter. That's two amps right there. And this is three right there. So that is just like ridiculously bright. And I just, whoops, let's, uh, no good. <laughs> ah, it fell off the heat sink there. I didn't want to burn it up, so. I just shut it off real quick, but the module is extremely hot. Should have screwed this down or something. Oh, well. but anyways, so you get the idea. It's really bright and I have a fairly nice amount of control with just the pot on this. So I think for my purposes, you know, it's gonna be just fine for me to use this power supply, this boost converter and just the LED module on some sort of a heat sink there. Like, as I said, I don't really want to use this one with the fan because it's going to get kind of noisy. I don't want that. Uh, so this is it for this part. I mean, I think I've got the electronics pretty much figured out because it's going to be fairly simple. The only other thing to do now is to build the boxes, but that's going to have to be on a, on a separate video here because I don't have materials to do that yet. And I'm actually still debating on how to do that. I mean, I was thinking maybe making something with like foam board, you know, like making like a box out of foam board. And then, you know, I'd have the cloth material in the front or making something like completely out of cloth and then having like some sort of a wire frame. I'm not entirely sure yet. So got to come back to that, but at least got this part figured out. So maybe, you know, this uh, is helpful for somebody else that maybe wants to use some of these modules for something that, you know, these uh, pretty much will do everything you need as far as regulating the light output from one of these so thanks guys for watching uh thumbs up if you liked it uh subscribe if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed yet and uh we'll see you guys around the bench